video is brought to you by Let Synthesize Academy, the number one place for practice oriented courses for serious music producers. Hey, Dan Larson here. Welcome to the new Synthesize Sunday episode. And today I want to show you a Max for Live device that I just found that it really changed my way of sound design through this little groove I made. So like always, you can download this sound from my Patreon below. And if you want to dig deeper into production, check my start to finish courses. People love it. But right now, let's jump into it. Okay, so before we analyze this huge plugin, this Max for Live device, let me tell you the problem here. So let's take a simple noise from operator or whatever synth you want to use. And the first problem comes that in Ableton, we don't have filter type with huge resonance. So this is why I like to use an EQ8. So what I do is create one peak, huge peak actually, and then I chop off the lows from the noise. And then I take another peak. So with this, we are creating a huge gain on the certain frequency. So this is what we get now. Okay, now the magic comes when you apply a fuzz distortion, especially with lots of input gain. And let's say this a little higher. So you can hear it so cool. It's very nice, even for cinematic sound design or neuro or depth support, whatever. Of course, you need an OTT after that. And the final EQ, because as you can see, there are some huge frequencies, especially on the low end that we don't really need. And also I would like to tame the highs a little more. Okay, so the problem here is I can't really tell Ableton to, you know, move these dots, these EQs, so I can play a melody with that. The only thing I can do is put all of them in a rack. So Control G, and let's say I move the frequency with the macro, this frequency with another macro, this frequency, also macro one and this also macro one so as you can see this is a huge peak in the frequency spectrum so what i can do is this thing but obviously this is not very handy because you can't really use it for playing melodies with that but you could but with this way you can't do that so this is why i searched for a max for light plugin that i can use for key following or pitch following this is the note follower 3.1 i will drop the link below this is not a paid video i just found it and i'm so happy with that so as you can see you can use the frequency you can use the velocity and you can apply a curve and you can map three amounts of destinations to it and honestly i'm just using the frequency now what i did here is of course i used macro one and what it means is i am modulating or moving macro one with my keyboard so let me show it to you. So very nice tonal sound. And the other destination is the final EQ high pass. Now the problem is if I don't use a final EQ, we have some huge low one that we don't need. And you might say, okay, why don't you just chop it off? Like here when you are up here. It's, it's everything is fine if I go up to this point. But what if I want to play it lower or even lower? You can see the high cut basically just chops off the valuable information of the sound and that is the basic harmonic. So the easiest way to fix this is actually to modulate the final EQ high cut too. I also tried to make this in Serum because as you can see Serum we have in Serum we have the key tracking the key follower but the problem is we don't have a huge resonance filter in Serum you might say okay let's use an equalizer but again the note follower here is not as flexible as here with the note follower 3.1 the max for live device because here everything is so mathematical correct so I can boost it up the macro by three octaves and everything is even everything is tonal and nice 
I also did the same with the final EQ cut. Now in Serum all you can do is this, but this will not follow the same way. And of course you don't have these huge resonances, you can't really reach these huge resonances inside Serum that you can do in EQ8. So this is why I prefer that and it is a huge device, I love it. You can do the same thing with the velocity, you have again three destinations and the curves. So for example you can of course reset with shift clicking and you can apply anything basically. So let's say you want to open the filter only at C3 but you want to close it again on the highest frequencies or the highest notes, you can do that here. So it is huge, I love it. The possibilities are basically endless and it's a huge sound design device, I hope you love it. Okay, like always, you can download this sound from my Patreon below, but without the plugin because it is a commercial plugin. And if you want to dig deeper into production, check my academy. I was Larson. see you guys next time. Peace.